What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Atlanta. It is so good to be back, even though I was just here like three weeks ago. Every time I come back to Atlanta now since I moved away after three years, I just reminisce all the memories of, of living here and, and being here and doing cool things because this city is such a fun city. Right now I'm posted up at the Hyatt Centric in Midtown, right on 10th Street. Uh, this is one of the nicer hotels I've stayed in. Pretty dope spot, so the room is, uh, is really massive. That bed looks insanely comfy. Let's see what kind of view we got from the window. Okay, there we go. So this window looks north out here. Let me uh, flip the camera around so you can see it. Nice view out there. Very nice, very nice. Man, I miss the city. I miss the city so much, man. I, I, oh, man. It's, it's, it's so cool coming back. Let's see, how's the bathroom look? Let's see. Yeah, I approve of this as uh, as well. I'm back for a work trip even though I moved away and I live in Cleveland, Ohio now. I still work for the same company in Atlanta. So I'm shooting down here often. I'm shooting down here often to go to all the work stuff that I need to, to be at. So let's get into the rest of the video. Cue the intro. I'll explain more as we go on. Hope you enjoy today. Let's go. I work for an Atlanta-based recruiting and staffing firm. Uh, we have clients anywhere from $10 million in revenue, smaller businesses, up to $20 billion multinational conglomerate, Fortune 500 companies, and everything else in between. Uh, we recruit specifically for accounting and finance, so anywhere from a staff account up to a CFO, uh, we take care of that. I'm personally on our business development team, so I bring in new jobs and new clients for my company to work on. I'm talking to a lot of VPs of finance, CFOs, controllers daily, and it's a sales job so I'm pitching to them why they should use me and my services and our firm to help them fill their open role over every other recruiting firm uh, in Atlanta and there's a lot of them so it's a cool job and uh, I really like it a lot so far if you want to be a wonder baby come and show it tell me what you feel in your heart and your soul there's nothing I would take for granted with me we'll make it through it's too hard to fix our break we grew apart, I made a mistake But I'll try to make it up to you, my darling Half my income is salary, half my income is commission. So the commission aspect I love, I think it gives me some motivation and drive to wake up in the morning and perform because if I don't perform, then I won't make much money just off you know, straight salary. So it's a cool gig. We are 99% remote. I am in the office in Midtown today, right there on 10th Street across from the Hyatt. Uh, we meet there about once per quarter, every two or three months or so. To uh, meet the team in person again, I generally like the people I work with, so I enjoy going into the office every so often do some training sessions, bounce ideas off each other, figure out ways we can improve processes and so forth. Here is a view from the top floor of that office building. Uh, it's actually the last day we're in, this, we're in this office building that we are switching to, to somewhere new in Buckhead, but uh, never never get uh, tired of this view overlooking all Midtown and uh, Piedmont Park over there looking east. You can see Stone Mountain and uh, everything else in between. PwC building right there, that's my old company I started with when I first moved to Atlanta. Quick shots of uh, inside the office right here but yeah it's it's a cool experience um like i said i like going into the office if i had a choice i think i'd actually prefer to go into the office maybe once uh or two times per week uh working from home is great it's uh you really can't beat it um there's a lot of benefits like working from quite literally anywhere but let's get back to the airport time to head back to cleveland taking the marta over to the airport it's always a good experience riding the marta not really but you do meet some interesting people i wish they'd upgrade this system but i'll see you back in cleveland it's time to go coach some high school soccer Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York from the All right, back in Cleveland and right back to work Today is our first regular season game as well as our home opener So I am very excited for that and I uh, hope the boys are as well. Every game day, there's a lot of planning and logistics that goes into it. And just a few of those items is, first of all, I got to give a roster to the person in the press box so we can list out the starting lineup. So here's my full roster. We got uh, 25 guys on the roster, as well as some information on the school up here for any fans to uh, take a look at in case they might be interested in the school. And then also got to give one to the opposing coach and the refs. So I got to bring through these papers every single game 
and mark the starting lineup. And then also got to keep stats every game as well to post online. I got this book. It's called uh, Soccer Official Scorebook by BSN Sports. It is way too official as in, I mean, they have spots for me to take like m way more stats than I need to. Basically, all I need is goals, assists, and uh, goalie saves to, to mark down and keep track of. I mean, I can keep track of whatever I want. This thing even has uh, places to mark where we took shots. Like what part of the field we took each shot and what part of the field the opponent took shots on us. It is uh, pretty crazy. I don't think I'll be getting that detail. Out. First regular season game in the books. Uh, we did not win. We lost one to zero. It is honestly pretty disappointing. I think that was a team we should have beat, but uh, should have, could have, would have. You know, can't change the past. We live and we learn and we move on. We uh, took some positives from the game that we could build on, and a lot of negatives from the game that we know that we got to fix in practice and to not do again. So not the ideal start, but uh, guys worked hard overall. Uh, moving forward, we know we got to compete even harder if we want to be successful and win games this season. It's a very young team. The bulk of the group are sophomores and juniors and um, going to start even maybe one or two freshmen per games. Uh, really only a uh, few seniors out there. So it's a young group, young core moving forward that uh, has a good framework and, and it will build a lot upon that. So outside of soccer, um, like you just saw, outside of work uh, when I'm not in Atlanta, I am at home working from my uh, my laptop. It's about 99% remote. It's, a, it's honestly a pretty good gig. And then in my personal life, the biggest topic right now is uh, I'm looking to buy my first property. If you follow my videos, then you probably know that whether I want to buy something next week or six months from now, I'm not sure. I think I'm ready, but it, the perfect house has to come along for me to jump on it with a purchase as uh, as big as that. But in the meantime, I'm looking to see what's out there, touring some open houses, kind of narrowing down what is important to me. We're gonna go see an open house house uh, this house looks uh, looks pretty good to me kind of checks every box we're looking for the ideal home that I am looking for has three bedrooms and at least one and a half bathrooms and about 10 minutes from the school I would like either an attic or a basement and I would also like a decent sized fenced in backyard this house checks all of those boxes outside of the fact it only has two bedrooms which we can we can work with I think one of those bedrooms up front would be uh, my office when it gets time in the future to have a family and you know, little little David Quayle's running around. I think it'd be definitely time to upgrade. But uh, kind of 15 foot ceilings in this living room. Uh, very nice, very nice. It is relatively updated. Uh, new carpets. I think it does need some paints. However, uh, I'm not trying to break the budget for my for my first house. I just want something basic, something simple. Um, I'm not trying to be too picky, neither is Skylar. Just want something that we could be happy in, and, and I think we can be happy in a, in a lot of different things if it just makes if it just meets our, our basic necessities. So this house is on the market. It's a lot of houses uh, around this area in our budget are absolutely flying out the market, like within like 48 hours of listing. So when it comes time and we want to jump on a house, we got to quite literally jump on it, like leave the open house and put in an offer right away because the market is crazy right now. It is uncertain, it's unstable, but people are buying homes. The people buying homes, inventory is limited. So when someone finds a house they like, they jump on it. And that's something I'll have to do as, uh, as well. When I bowl, I actually don't use the holes in the ball for your fingers because they're either too small or too big. I mean, it's never the right size. So I just hold the ball as is and roll it down the lane. If, if you do that, let me know as well. But uh, this video was kind of a, a deeper inside look into my life. Um, I think there's you know, a lot going on right now where I'm living in Cleveland, Ohio, but I'm technically working in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, it's my journey going back and forth when I need to and, and on the side, coaching soccer. And then my personal life, there's, uh, there's some things that 
that I got to work through as well. Bit of uncertainty, right? It's it's exciting. Um, it's adventurous. It's a new chapter of my life, I think. But uh, with that comes a lot of uncertainty, uh, maybe some anxiety along the way, um, and a lot of things that are just uh, unknown moving forward. But uh, that is exactly what makes life exciting. So uh, let's wrap up this vlog right here, right now. I am already looking forward to the next time I go back to Atlanta. I have a work event the last week of October, and I think by then soccer season will be done. So hopefully I'll get to stay for a lot longer than 24 hours, maybe even up to uh, a week or so. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, if you did, please drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. As always, guys, work hard, be nice to people. I'll see you guys next Monday.